Hey y'all, this is the look that we're going to be doing today. I am super excited about this look. Um, mainly just because I've missed videoing and I've missed doing makeup. I've had a crazy month um, and just haven't had time to sit down and film. I graduated cosmetology school and then went on a road trip with my fiance and was gone for about a week and a half and then got back and had some crazy family emergencies and then my dog got sick and so it's just been just kind of a crazy month but I am so happy to be sitting down and doing this now and having time to do the things that I love um yeah so I guess I'll stop rambling but this makeup look is mainly geared towards the holidays coming up just because I absolutely love the holidays and the feel and the family and the food and everything about it so I'm super excited to be doing this look, so yeah, if you like what you see, then stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to start off by using the Hourglass Stick Foundation in the shade Light Beige. And I already primed my face with coconut oil, um, so I don't need any more. All right, then I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to buff it. All right, now for concealer, we're gonna be going in with the Naked Skin Weightless Concealer by Urban Decay and go ahead and conceal your under eye area and nose, forehead, chin, and a little bit on your upper lip. And just bounce that in there with the same beauty blender that you used before. To set all that, we're going to be using the Laura Mercier setting powder, and this is the translucent one. This one isn't the one with the little pieces of glitter in it, which I don't like um, because when you take pictures, it will reflect the light if you have that glitter. So I just stick with the translucent one. Then I'm going to take this fluffy brush by BH Cosmetics, and I'm going to just put this all over my face to set everything. On the eyes but before I do that I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to dip it into the top the the bottom part of the setting powder and I'm just going to load up my beauty blender and all that powder is going to stick to it so it looks like that and then I'm going to go underneath my eyes and this is going to prevent any smudging whenever there's fallout because from doing such a dramatic eye you're using the darker colors and if you have fallout it's really hard to get it off and so this kind of acts as a barrier from the fallout to your skin all right moving on to eyes i'm going to start off by doing my eyebrows with the brow is by anastasia obviously 
I'm just going to fill them in. Then I'm going to take my Morphe palette. I just got this in the mail, so I'm super excited about it. It's the Morphe 350. And I'm going to start off by using this gold color right here. I'm going to, the brush that I'm using, I'm going to be taking it and I'm going to be dipping it in water to create kind of a foil color. And then I'm going to start, I'm going to coat it just like that. It's pretty coated all the way around. And then I'm going to start on, let's see me in this a little bit. I'm going to start on my inner corner and just load that up all on my inner corner and on my lid. into here just a little bit. Alright, then I'm going to pick up a fluffier brush just like this and I'm going to start off with these two colors right here and I'm going to start my shadowing. I'm going to go in with this darker color right below the one that I just used and I'm going to just keep darkening that outer corner. Alright, then I'm going to mix these two this one and this one and I'm going to only have that on the outside I'm not really going to draw it in I'm gonna bring it in only halfway I'm not going to sweep down into my crease Then I'm going to go into my Tartlet palette by Tarte and I'm going to go in with Activist right here and Smoke Show. And I'm going to go in with a little stippling brush kind of and focus mainly on the outside just smoking it into that gold just a little bit. And right now I'm only using the activist. I'm going to bring it down a little bit there. Then I'm going to go in with Smoke Show. And I'm only going to focus right on the crease. And bringing it, just kind of deepening that crease just a little bit. I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush and I'm gonna go just into activist. And I'm gonna stay just on this outside. Alright, moving on to eyeliner. Okay, so for eyeliner, I'm gonna be using a brand 
that I, it's a professional brand. I don't know that you can get it online unless you have a um, makeup artist code. I'm not really sure, but it's called Mud. It's Makeup Designery. And I'm gonna be using their cake liner right now. So I'm gonna be taking an angled brush like this and I'm going to dip it in water and that activates the cake liner. Here's one eye. And it's not really a cat liner because I'm going to end up smoking out the bottom line to meet that line. So I didn't want it to go up. I want it to go out. So now I'm going to move on to the next eye and do the exact same thing. Okay, so I did not like that one very much. I'm just going to buff it out a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, so for the bottom lash line, I'm gonna be taking that same little stippling brush and I'm gonna go into the Tartlet palette and I'm gonna be taking Leader and Rebel and I'm going to be going in on the lower water line. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with another mud eyeliner, and this is the um, pencil liner. It's just black. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to go on my waterline. take that same precision brush and I'm just going to buff out a little bit of that black into the lower part of my waterline. We're going to move on to bronzer and I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier bronzer in the shade Bronze 03. This is what it looks like. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, but I really like that. All right, and then I'm gonna go back in with my damp beauty blender and the translucent powder and coat that. And I'm just going to go right along where I did my bronzer. And this is just going to help define that line. and keep the bronzer in place all day. It also gives it a slight contour look without it being too harsh. So 
I'm just gonna let that sit while I, while I move back up to my eyes. I'm going to just coat my lashes with Last Blush Fusion by CoverGirl. It's just a dry store mascara, so it's not expensive at all. Um, but I love it because of the head of the brush. It's super kind of prickly in a way. I don't know if that's focusing well. But, so it separates your lashes really, really well. So I'm just gonna do a light coat of that. Then we will move on to... Okay. I'm going to be using Okay, now that those are on, I'm gonna be using Ardell Glamour Wispies. And I'm trying out this new lash, the strip lash adhesive. Wait, it has it says it has aloe in it, and I know it is by KISS, the brand KISS. And so I'm trying it out so. There's one. Let's move on to the next one. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a hair mask. Okay. Moving on to my left eye. I'm just going to do the same thing. Now I'm just going to recoat those. I'm going to start with my right one since it's a little more dry. And I'm just going to kind of tease those other ones into my falsies. Make them look like one. Then I'm going to go ahead and coat my bottom lash line. And if you feel like you can see the band, um, you can go back over it with your eyeliner if you want to. Today, I mean, I don't, I got mine pretty far down, so I think I'm good. Okay, so before I do lips, I'm actually gonna do my highlighter. Um, and obviously I'm gonna be using the Becca Highlighter by Jaclyn Hill and I absolutely love this palette, it's so beautiful. So I'm going to be using both Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. Mostly Prosecco Pop just because I have gold in my eyes, so that'll help bring out the golds in my eyes and on my cheeks. So I'm going to take a fan brush just like this, and I'm going to just put it in both of those and highlight a bunch of those. In my cheeks, in my forehead, in my chin, in my lid, in my nose. Barely any on my nose because. I have a tendency to get a little oily, and so I don't want to make that look even more oily. Alright, so for my lips, I'm going to be using a Bare Minerals Matte Lipstick. Um, 
and it's almost like a stain like it stays on your lips and i absolutely love it it's decently new um i saw a girl wearing it and i asked her what it was and she told me and i went out and bought it that day because i was so obsessed with it and so now i absolutely love it I absolutely love it so this is what i'm gonna be using it's bare minerals it looks like this and i'm using this shade scandal dark lipsticks I fill in the inside and the line on the bottom and then I take a small brush like this and I dip it into the top of my lipstick and then I go on the back See how that helps you get that sculpted kind of look, but I don't, I really don't enjoy doing contour. I enjoy having more of that bronze look, but this gives it a little bit of that like put together look of a contour. So yeah, there you have it. All right. All right guys, so that concludes this look. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and let me know what y'all think about it and yeah i absolutely love doing this look and i'm so ready for the holidays so yeah if you liked it give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe for me thanks guys oh i forgot to mention this lipstick is so good like look i just kissed my hands nothing literally nothing it is so good all right anyways bye Oh, wait, no, it's videoing. <laughs> <laughs>